leo eh, i know saa hizi mmekuwa contaminated kuna watu hakulala jana wakia, wakiagalia impeachment na wengine wameshikwa na husuni nilikuwa kwa doto nikaona watu wengi wameshikwa na husuni wanashidwa what will happen let me tell you one thing i've always told you here that this is not about gashakwa this is not about ruto this is not about kedeke and whoever it is about powers of the most darkest places and this is not a local battle it is an international battle it is only they have chosen kenya to be the ground for the battle but because the, the mistake they did it to have chosen kenya to be the battle for their fight because they are going to lose it bwana yesu asifiwe sana whatever the parliament was doing in the night they are going to lose it whatever they, whatever they hatched against this country they are going to lose it because there is law in this country there is law in this country and this country cannot be taken to the dogs cannot be set up for the dogs to grab god is going to place back the law where it belongs we are not supporting anybody we are not for gashagwa we are not for ruto we are not for raira we are not for anything but what we are we are for our god that kenya is a platform of the revival of the gospel of jesus christ and that is the main reason parliament stayed until midnight just to cancel the revival that is the law that is the reason today a day we don't we, we normally don't have parliament they were in parliament 7 a.m the motivation it is to cancel the revival so let us pray for the revival let us pray for what for the revival to come because that is what we wanted to institute a government a system where it can condone the worshiping condone lgbtq condone anything that can stop the worship of god and you remember very well they had started very well with uh, with the church regulations until when the president went to aic miriman just last week and they said no this is i won't do it we are not going to fight the church but it, no it was a cunning move they wanted to finish, finish this battle fast then they get because they found we cannot do, do do two battles and we cannot win against the church and also the parliamentarians so what they did they will withdrew so that they once they defeat this one they now come back with the other one but now what happened god is going to embarrass them god is going to embarrass them God is going to cause so much pain to them until if they will not they will not going to surrender to God they are going to surrender here down. Therefore that is what that's a message of God that this is a country that nobody can be allowed to joke with. And whoever that is doing this should stop with immediate effect. And if it's a president that is doing this he must stop it and he must know that there's a rule of law. Because how, how do you explain to people? The other day, we changed the constitution so that a president can be sworn in between 10 and 2 p.m. in the broad daylight after some days when he was declared to become a, a president. Now, what, how do you dare sign a gazette in the middle of the night a gazette notice in the middle of the night it's as if kenya is expiring <laughs> surely and the people the person who signed is wetangura the other day he was the championing for the change of the constitution and he was calling all manner of things that the constitution must change and it must be upheld and must be protected and must be defended and must be this and he's the one who took that thing to be signed in the night. Midro, wakati kila mutu anangorota. Are we dying? Is Kenya dying? No. What was the hurry for? It is now, it has been stopped by the court. So Kidiki is not the deputy. And they had planned that Kidiki is going to introduce the president. Huko kwa sharia za madaraka. Ni madaraka manini? Sasa, sasa Ruto ata explainia wa Kenya nini? Sincerely, you know, there are people that mislead our president. 
Na akalia wakati huyu Raila aliingia kwa serikali. Mnakumbuka? Ya uhuru. Uhuru alibehave ni kama mnyama, hataki kusikia mtu, hataki kusikia nini, alikuwa naona tu baba. Baba baba mpaka akaanza kumwambia kumuita baba. Akalia mzee tena ameingia kwa huyu kijana mwingine. Na yeye kijana amegeuka. He does not listen to anything to anybody. You saw the wine parliament in beaching a person who belongs to another party. They were the one quoting Bible verses. Mulisikia ule kwa kikoti Bible. Eh ule kwa quoting a Bible verse. Now I was asking myself, na siangetumia hiyo wakati ku preach the word of God. A quote hii Bible watu waokoke. A quote hii Bible watu wa change. A quote hii Bible Kenya ikuwe mzuri. A quote hii Bible Kenya ikuwe revived. They were quoting a Bible when somebody is sick. Indeed, Geshagi Geshagi alikuwa sick, aliaguka. Alibebwa na 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 ambulance akapelekwa hospitali. Anybody can be sick. Na wanasema hata kama amemusik eh hii cause hii mapole sima yetere. How? Are we dying tomorrow? Are we to die today? Was Kenya being fooled? Ilikuwa inafugwa. Ama Radlord alikuwa pale hiji akitaka kufuga Kenya. In some sometimes sometimes inajua watu wengine mnasemaka ni siasa tusiogee siasa kwa madhabahu. Lakini this is not politics. This is about common sense. Hao ni wazee, wazee wakubwa wakubwa wakubwa, matubu kubwa kubwa. Ha? Signing a, a gazette notice usiku. What for? Convening a parliament a day that is not supposed to be convened. Sasa walikatu waliambia msiende safari. Sasa wamemaliza, hawana kidiki na wameambia waende ni 2 months, ni 2 weeks. Lisa ya 2 weeks. Waende. Hawana vice president, hawana deputy. Gashagwa sahi. Magari nimeona ikikibia kwake. Kurudisha security. Sasa naona aibu. Wametia, wametia president wetu aibu. Ana hiyo ndio madhabahu tunazungumziaga. Madhabahu ambayo yanadhalalisha inchi. Because whatever they have done, the heavens are not happy. Because this is a man that is elected. This is an any man that is holding a position. Ni Mungu amemuita hapo. So this man has been misled to make decisions that are not godly. So what will happen to the nation Kenya? Kenya will be punished because of his deeds. Kenya will face challenges because of what his deeds. When a king becomes rogue, the, then God moves out. When a king worships God and leads people to God, and the abundance of the love of God comes back. Now the king is rogue. The king is receiving. Imagine the flags were prepared. Did you see? The flags were prepared in state house and everything was there awaiting for the swearing only to see a letter from the court. <laughs> Mr. President, you cannot swear anybody. Sangalia yo, yo, humiliation. It's bad. And the constitution of Kenya says once the the the, the Senate Senate has impeached the deputy president. Then it will take 14 days for verification and also for 30 days for the swearing. So we had all 30 days. But you decide just to put the president into shame. Who is this that is finishing our president? What this kind of an altar that is destroying our presidents? Because this is not the root I know. This is not the root of the government we elected. There is somebody behind to bring down this government. So this, whoever was the mover of the motion is not the people who moved it. But another force from somewhere that moved it. And that is why I'm calling, I just decided to say this, because I want you to just pray for this nation. After I finish the sermon, then we get deeper to pray for this nation so that this, we can destroy this demon. Remember on Sunday we had a service here. And the service was we were praying for this nation. Sindio? And the plan has been scattered. Okay? This plan has been what? Scattered. Their plan has been scattered as we declared here. Now we must scatter the plan of the devil against the country. Because whatever they are doing will affect you. Whatever we, we, we are doing will affect our generations to come. Whatever they are doing, they will affect the land of Kenya. Whatever they are doing is a mark to destroy the plan of God. And uh, the devil is capable of destroying. Why do you see? God did not make us to sin. 
God did not uh, produce us to become sinners. But what happened is that the devil came and altered the plan of God in you. That is why you became a sinner. So the devil can be able to change a destiny. The devil can be able to destroy the plans that God has for you. If you allow the altars of the devil to come and dominate you. So we will be praying for you to allow the altars of the devil to come and dominate you. So we will be praying for this nation. We will be praying and fasting for this nation until Kenya is back. Remember we went to um, Babadogo? What was happening in Babadogo?